students today we study energy in shl as the particle is in motion it possesses kinetic energy in simple harmonic motion there is restoring force acting on the particle therefore it possesses the potential energy its form may be different in different examples like in case of spring mass oscillator potential energy is in the form of elastic potential energy in case of simple pendulum it may be in the form of gravitational potential energy like this here we have to derive the relation for kinetic energy potential energy and then total energy so let us start with the kinetic energy so kinetic energy in shm it is denoted by ek we denote it as ek for that we consider path of shm mn with mean position as o suppose particle is at position p which is at distance x from the mean position amplitude of shm is a and angular frequency in case of this uh, shm is omega then velocity can be written as v is equal to omega under root a square minus x square actually velocity is plus or minus omega but we take it as plus omega under root a square minus x square because particle is going towards the positive extremity here kinetic energy can be given by half m v square substitution for the velocity gives us directly i can write here v square is omega square and the square root square is a square minus x square so this is the second equation it can be also written as as we have m k upon m is equal to omega square this equation 2 can be written as ek is equal to half k into inside the bracket a square minus x square this is equation number 3 so m omega square can be substituted as k so once we know the kinetic energy we proceed for the potential energy so the second is potential energy in shm it is we denote it by ep so as we have to Uh, we are going to derive the potential energy we must have to discuss about the work done because potential energy is there when work is done by the force the force in shm is restoring force so we can write here work is done by the restoring force so we have to discuss about this work done and then we will we will get the expression here work done we consider for the position p suppose particle is at position p and it moves towards the positive extremity it displaces through a small displacement this displacement is infinitesimal displacement or infinitesimally small displacement small displacement here and as the displacement is small the work done is also small therefore it can be denoted by dw this work is done by the restoring force f we know the restoring force is given by f is equal to minus kx and we know the relation for dw dw can be written as f into dx means force into displacement how can we 
take these points in our expression so here we take dw is the work done in displacing the particle to dx it can be written as dw is equal to f into minus dx because we know in case of shm force is directed means distorting force is directed towards the mean position and the displacement we have taken to up towards the extreme position so this concept we have used here f is equal to dw is equal to f into dx so we can write dw is equal to f can be substituted as minus kx and here there is dx here i can write f is equal to minus kx so here we get dw is equal to kx dx this is our equation number 4 as the amount of work done is small and we want the work done when particle moves from o to p uh, the total work we denote by w and it can be obtained by integration integration of dw gives us the total work can be integration of kx dx where x varies from 0 to x here k can be taken outside the integration we get the answer as k into x square by 2 we can write it as half into k into x square so this is the total work done now we have in the concept we have taken that potential energy is nothing but the work done or work done by the restoring force is stored in the form of potential energy so this expression of work done if it is denoted by phi we can write ep is equal to w or ep means potential energy is equal to half into k x square this is our sixth relation so we have two relations one for kinetic energy and other for the potential energy now if we add both these energies we get the total energy so in our third step we can get total energy it is denoted by e e is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy let us substitute for kinetic energy it is half into k into a square minus x square and potential energy by half k x square so we get total energy is equal to half into k a square half k x square gets cancel with the potential energy here we have three relations equation 3 equation 6 and equation 7 here k can be replaced in 6 and 7 k can be replaced by m omega square here this ep can be written in another way like this half into m omega square x square this can be equation 6a this equation 7 can be written as in terms of m and omega square so it can be half into m into omega square x square so different forms we can uh, 
digest for the energies because energy can be expressed in terms of force constant as well as omega so this is about the energy in shm here we have to show that energy remains constant and for different positions energy values are different uh, energy values we have to write so how can we write here so first we take the relations for kinetic energy it can be written as ek is equal to half into k into a square minus x square this is equation 2 uh, equation 2 is half into m omega square this is equation 2 ek half into k into a square minus x square this is equation 3 just we are collecting these expressions here for the potential energy e t is equal to half into k into x square this is equation 6 uh, and e p also can be written as half into m omega square x square total energy also we write here just we have to make some uh, conclusions we write it like this half into k into a square it can be half into m omega square a square so here we draw some conclusions from these energy values so first conclusion is related to the total energy total energy can be expressed in this way half into m we, in, for the omega we can write twice pi m as well as omega can be substituted by twice pi upon t uh, omega here we substitute by 4 pi n square 4 pi square n square and a square as it is we get the such expression here and if we substitute the period it is half into m into 4 pi square upon t square and a square as it is these expressions can be written as e is equal to here 4 and 2 can be adjusted by 2 pi square m n square a square also e is equal to 2 into pi square m a square upon t square so in such expressions in all these expressions we observe that the total energy all the terms in all these expressions are constant k is constant m omega square a is constant for the given motion we can say that total energy of the system remains constant e remains constant when particle performs simple harmonic motion because all the terms are constant omega we have taken as constant therefore n is constant t is constant a is constant therefore e remains constant and it depends on mass of the vibrator or mass of oscillator frequency of oscillation amplitude of shm we can conclude here that e is directly proportional to mass of oscillator E is directly proportional to square of frequency, E is directly proportional to square of amplitude. Such conclusions we can make from these adjustments. Now, again we draw here the same diagram. Path of SHM, we have to show here displacement here for the mean position x is equal to 0 here x is equal to plus e here x is equal to minus e now we write the values for kinetic energy potential energy and total energy so first we write ek ek can be equal to for the extreme position if we substitute x is equal to minus a in the equation 3 x 
square is a square. Here a square minus a square is 0. So e k is equal to 0. For the extreme, positive extreme also e k is equal to 0. If we substitute 0 in equation 3, x square becomes 0. We get kinetic energy e k is equal to half into k into a square only. Similarly, for the potential energy, potential energy here is e p is equal to half into k into x square. x square here it is minus a square means half into k a square. For the positive extreme also it is half into k into a square. But for the mean position it is exactly 0. So such values of potential and kinetic energies are there. We say that here when the particle is at extreme position its kinetic energy is 0. And in the mean position it is maximum it is half k a square. Now, for the potential energy, at the mean position it is zero, but at the extreme position, the uh, potential energy is maximum. Now, we can write for total energy in each case. This addition of Ek and Ep, then it is half into Ka square. Here also it is half into Ka square. In this case also it is half into Ka square. Uh, total energy for extreme position as well as mean position are same and for the position P we have already it is derived that it is equal to half into K A square e is equal to half into K A square so total energy at any position on the path of SHF remains constant we have to show these values on uh, graph. So graphical representation we can take for the same path here. So this is suppose M. It is M here. Here it is N. And this one is O. It is denoting the position, mean position. Here it is positive extreme position plus A and X is equal to minus A. And suppose the motion is along the X axis. Here we will write X is equal to plus A. Like this. And from the mean position for the sake of uh, drawing or plotting the graph we show here the y axis and it is representing the energy values uh, here the energy value is e is equal to half into k a square so this value of energy at point p uh, i can write here like this e is equal to half into k a square so this is the value. Now we plot the points for kinetic energy first. So kinetic energy at extreme position is 0. So here for the point M kinetic energy is 0. For the extreme point M is also kinetic energy 0. But for the mean position the kinetic energy no, 0 I have to show here kinetic energy 0 and for the mean position it is having maximum value so if we join these points here like this so this is the curve which represents the kinetic energy. Now we 
try for the potential energy. For extreme position, the potential energy is half k square. For the positive extreme also, it is half k a square. But at the mean position, potential energy is zero. Uh, if we join these three points, then we get the curve that is for potential energy. Now, if we join all these three points for the extreme position, total energy is half k a square. Here also half k a square. If we join all these points, then this straight line gives us the total energy of a particle. So, this is the graphical representation of kinetic energy, potential energy and total energy. So, this form of energies we have obtained in terms of k, m and x. Also, this can be obtained in terms of uh, sine and cosine function also. So, you can try the expressions for kinetic energy, potential energy and total energy in terms of sine or cosine functions, sine theta or cos theta. So, that is homework for you. So, today we will stop here. Thank you.